Oh, love that song. We, I first became acquainted with that song at, um, when I was ordained, Ellen and me, and uh, anyone else in our group in Florida in 1994. Don't think so. <laughs> but uh, that was a song that we sang, and I just think it's so appropriate because, yes, here we are, and, and that's our uh, function and our purpose is to be of service to each other here at Namaste, and of course, the greater world community as well. Gosh knows it, needs it. And uh, I'm just thrilled to be here. And, let me get this pulled up. Okay, I didn't want my talk to be in a set. I do have a favor, Ellen, or somebody, if I could get some water. I have to say I'm a little nervous. Uh, this is so uh, exciting uh, for me because it's been a long time coming and I know that, um, I had mixed re mixed reviews about this, okay, both for myself and, and some of you out there. And it's, um, we really put a lot of thought and, and uh, went into our hearts, thank you so much, uh, went into our hearts to, uh, to make this something that would be unique to us and that would make, um, make us comfortable, yet uh, support our center and also besides supporting our center and is supporting each other. And uh, so it's really about, in our mission statement, there's a line that says about being the message. You know, I think the new paradigm is not only about going to classes, workshops, seminars, which is all great, fun, and good, but what are we gonna do with it? Or, you know, here I am, Lord, I've got the, got the message, it's in my heart. I'm choosing to live from my heart. I'm choosing to live in love. Now show me where, where you would like me to go and what would, you would like me to do. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, and I've been saying this for a long time, but the energies are strong uh, lately, very strong. And, you know, there's people with, like, uh, in our community even, a couple of people couldn't be here. They weren't feeling well. Uh, with really strange symptoms, uh, nothing that can even be diagnosed. You know, it's very weird. Lethargy, lethargy, well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> fatigue, um, <laughs> uh, digestive problems, just disoriented. Uh, and, and if you go and look in the woo-woo stuff, you know, with this uh, big eclipse coming up, which we have great plans for, I hope you'll join us, there's uh, a lot of stirring going on and it's really imperative and important that we take this time to get ourselves centered and <clears throat> hang on for the journey and of course uh, to do that we are so blessed to have this community of wonderful souls just to, to lift us up but also um, when we walk out into the world it's about being there being that presence of love for everyone we meet. And uh, I think that's the, the new paradigm. The new paradigm is, is total living from the heart, cutting the past off at the knees, and just saying, here I am, I'm ready to go. And so today is the first day of the rest of our lives, literally. Uh, it's, we're born again, as they say. And um, you know, when, the, when I would hear people talk about being born again, I'd sort of like, <laughs> I was like, uh, I was not, that was not something that I was like, ooh, I wanna, uh, when I grew up in church, people would go, yeah, I'm born again. I never got it. I didn't, I wasn't that I, I just didn't get it. It was like, really? What? Huh? I, I thought it was, it never resonated with me until I got into the, you know, deeper into the universal perspectives on spirituality and religion. And being reborn is really just letting go of the past and opening our hearts up to love in every moment. That to me is being reborn. And, you know, we here at Namaste, we've had our ups and downs and good and bad and all sorts of things. Uh, people who've been with me a long time know what I'm speaking of. It's been uh, an interesting journey, to say the least, but I think it's, it's made us stronger, more committed to, um, to our purpose and, who we, and our function and who we are and not compromising that. And it's a pretty simple function, actually. It's just above all else, I choose and each of us chooses to live in the greatest degree of love in all we do and to the best of our ability. And if we screw up, dust your knees off, 
and do it again, choose again. And if we can do that, we've accomplished our goal. We don't, uh, we're not about doctrine or dogma here, although I do bring in many different perspectives myself of religion and spirituality, but also we have a lot of guest speakers and presenters who have other uh, thoughts and uh, perspectives on uh, God and spirituality. So it's about each person finding their fit and their place on their journey. So um, I was thinking, you know, of um, a, a story that I heard Marianne Williamson uh, share years and years ago. This could have been 30 years ago, <coughs> at least. Um, and she was talking about when she got, and, and I can relate to this big time, when she got really into the Course of Miracles and she just said, you know, here I am, I surrender and, you know, show me where you want me to go, what you want me to do, go, and who you want me to say it to, and just, I'm all yours, God. And as she said, it was like this big wrecking ball came in and things didn't get better. They got worse. I mean, she says like her whole life fell apart at that point. And so she's like, come on, man. She says, uh, I surrender and this is what I get. And she said she heard a voice and it said, well, Miss Williamson, there were cracks in the foundation. So I decided to start over. And so, it's, uh, so I think that, that that really resonates so much because... It is about us choosing to build, you know, our foundation on, on rock, on stone, a solid base, a solid foundation. And that's what this uh, and, uh, Sunday, Membership Sunday is about, is really getting good footing, good grounding for, you know, uh, the future of our center. And so, you know, we've got some nice things down the road, which are all really surrendered. And of course, the one big one being our beautiful new uh, building, which God, our spirit uh, provider, whoever has not uh, disclosed to us exactly what that's gonna be yet, but I know it's gonna be grand and wonderful. So that is something that we are here to co-create together and take an interest in and really build a solid foundation underneath that beautiful space. So we'll just, we'll just throw all kinds of crystals in there and and we'll have all kinds of bl more blessings and, and just fill that up with heart energy. The land, if you haven't been over there, is, is spectacular, it's beautiful. I just like to go over there and sit and be in it. It's, it's really a, a beautiful space. So if we truly make this commitment, I think it starts with each of us individually, which makes our collective even stronger and then makes the Namaste Center even more uh, known to the community at large and beyond. You know, we had this terrific uh, article in the Times News yesterday about this upcoming event um, with Anna Hernandez. And, you know, people, Jerry had made mention that her neighbors are like, oh yeah, I saw that article about your center in, um, in the Times News. And so we're getting out there. And people where in the past uh, may have thought we were really weird, which a lot of people still do, just FYI. Um, the, uh, but you know, they're starting to say, well, maybe they, you know, maybe they're not so bad after all. I will go back, um, the purple fabric. I went, I, the peacock fabric must be something that's very popular. But we ran out, and so I needed to get more uh, fabric. And I couldn't find this or the other fabric, so I uh, went to a fabric store um, in Fletcher. And so I'm, um, I'm talking to the gal, and she's like, oh, that's beautiful fabric. And there was a woman get buying some stuff, and she goes, oh, yeah, that's lovely. And, and she says, what are you making? I said, stoles. And she goes, well, for? And I said, well, for our church, we're having a, a membership Sunday, and everyone gets a stole. And she goes, oh, that's a lovely idea. And... Um, and she's, uh, so then the one woman says, well, what's your church? And I had on my Namaste shirt, and I said, Namaste Center. She goes, well, isn't that yoga? And I'm like, no. I, I, said, I said, it's an interfaith center. And the woman went, uh. uh <laughs> like, uh, no. So, um, but, uh, <laughs> so there, you know, but little by little, we're, we're getting out there and, you know, maybe they'll like us and maybe they won't, and that's okay. But, um, you know, the, um, I want to share uh, Jesus' uh, 
talk on the Sermon of the, on the Mount and uh, speaking of building our house on stone. And he says, everyone therefore who hears these words of mine and does them, I will liken them to a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat, and beat on that house and it didn't fall. For it was founded on a rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and doesn't do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain comes down, the floods come, and the winds blew, and the house fell. And I, I don't see that as a, as a threat. It's just, are you in or are you out? Are you choosing to build your foundation for your life, for our center, on rock or sand? <coughs> we're, we're, you know, we're in uh, times of great change, uh, weather, financial, political, war potential, all kinds of uncertainties out there. And it's about us really digging those roots deep, planting those deep roots into the ground so we can just stand tall and be the presence of, of true power in this, in this process of change. Now, um, this uh, couple of things that I think, you know, the Course in Miracles, I've been a long time, 30 plus year student of A Course in Miracles, and it's really touched me, and I would say it's my spiritual foundation. Um, but not to say that I don't integrate other parts, uh, spiritual processes into it. But the main premise of the course says we have one function. What is it? Love. 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 Forgiveness. forgiveness. So forgiveness is a key. Well, and love is who we are. And the way we live from that place and is to lift the veil from our awareness of that love. So. Um, Forgive, 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 forgive. Now the real tricky part is the old paradigm of forgiveness is, well, you're a jerk, I'll forgive you because I'm spiritual now. <laughs> and um, that's not forgiveness. That is uh, just not forgiveness, just leave it back. The true forgiveness is to see the world through new eyes and to understand that everything we see out here is a projection, 100%. No exceptions at all. Everything I see out here is a projection of who I think I am and who I choose to make the world be. And um, so it's about forgive, forgive, forgive. And the way we do this is ask the Holy Spirit or our higher self or go to our heart and ask to see everything through the lens of love. And when we do that, there's nothing to forgive. The Course of Miracles says we do not need to go and ask God for forgiveness because God has never uh, placed a grievance upon us. God's never judged us. So we have to get out of our self-judgment and that is because those who see themselves as whole or healed make no demands. So the more healed I become, the less I have interest in uh, playing, playing games. And sometimes there are people who like to play games and, and they want to but you don't have to join. It, the Course says it only takes one to heal a relationship, usually the saner of the two. And so when, when you have a situation that just keeps doing this, it's okay to just walk away. But know that uh, we're not walking away in judgment, condemnation, blame, but just a place of I love you, you're holy, and um, but I'm gonna go where I can express love and be, be that love. Because I can tell you that, that over the years that the, the people and the situations I have given the most time to, uh, some people just aren't ready to heal. They don't want to heal. And that's okay. That is their path, their journey. But that doesn't mean we don't, we don't stop loving them and holding that place of, of light for them. Uh, the, the Course in Miracles has a beautiful quote. It says... Um, you can only heal the insanity of a brother by perceiving the sanity in them, okay? So when we see that call for love, which is what it is, rather than defend and attack and engage, it's just about the new lens of forgiveness, seeing past the, the story, the judgment, the drama, and, and joining at the soul. We have a beautiful exercise in, in uh, Julie's class, uh, the ladies group, 
And it's just, and some people, it's very uncomfortable for them to do. And at the end, you just stare and gaze into someone's eyes and just eventually the, the form and the stuff just melts away and you're soul to soul. Well, some people, it's very uncomfortable. And it's, and, and it's a process to be comfortable in that space. But that's a very powerful exercise. And that's what we're here to do is to see beyond the stuff, the form. Go into the formless, go into where the meat, are, meat is. So um, I, I found this little quote about membership and it says, <coughs> with a country club membership, you pay others to do the work for you. With church membership, everyone has a role or a function. That's why, uh, that's why some are hands, feet, ears, or eyes. We're all different, but we're all necessary parts of the whole. So, you know, everybody, this is about, um, this center is about everybody participating and, and sharing their gifts, whatever it is. Some people, it may be, um, you know, uh, Cindy and Peggy setting up on every Sunday morning in that commitment and all of the people who have helped with the grounds and then the committees and the facilitators of groups and the music and all of these things are all part of our whole and everybody has something to share. Uh, Barbara this morning said, well, when can we go to the land? I want to pick some weeds. Okay, well, we can all do that. So, uh, so don't think there's not a place for you. If you don't have a place, I could use some weed pickers. So and that's very valuable, uh, believe me. So it's, that's how we get strong. That's how we get that strong foundation. And um, this is, uh, this is uh, to support what I had mentioned earlier. Don't try to waste your, don't waste your time trying to explain yourself to people that are committed to misunderstanding you. <laughs> Instead, commit your time to explaining who they are to them. When you get a person to see the positive similarities you share, it begins to restore the loss of respect between you. And I think that's so powerful. Um, you know, it's in, in my defenselessness, my safety lies. Let's turn the, you know, turn the camera to them and start inquiring and, and, you know, really getting to know each other because at the core, we're all the same. We really, really are. And also when we, um, when we invite people to share in our miracles, we create future allies during turbulent weather. So we're celebrating this miracle of today together. We've had many miracles. We've had beautiful, beautiful experiences this past year and years. And we've had challenges. We've, we've really had some great loss in our community as well. And so it's a um, couple of uh, things I'd like to close with is this uh, statement here, which I think is, is our role um, is individually, which makes our center stronger. One tree can start a forest. One smile can begin a friendship. One hand can lift a soul. One word can frame the goal. One candle can wipe out darkness. One laugh can conquer gloom. One hope can raise your spirits. And one touch can show you care. One life can make the difference. Be that one today. And true friends are those people who've come to find you in the dark and lead you to the light. And that is who we are here at Namaste. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you, member or not, the love remains total and the same. And so it is. Namaste. Namaste. My computer is so close to being out of battery, I'm just... Okay. Okay. Oh, is. So at this time, if uh, you would like to hold your gift to your heart and just take a moment to give thanks for our center, all the wonderful gifts we receive here, all the beautiful people, we ask that these gifts bless and nurture our center and be used for the highest and holiest of purposes so that we may move forward in the light 
with compassion and love in all we do. Place our center in the hands of love and know that all is well, and so it is. are offering a presentation tomorrow night and uh, would you one of y'all like to um, as you all know we've kind of found this incredible CBD oil and our business partner from Oregon is here and he knows way more about it it's six to ten times more effective than any other CBD oil so come tomorrow but first if you can go online and Google CBD and any health challenge you have and you'll see all the scientific evidence and then come and find out tomorrow at 7 why this one is with you. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at 7 p.m. there's a presentation on CBD oil. Is it here? So, in here. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's miraculous. It's uh, There's been so many people uh, heavily uh, impacted in a positive way with it. And um, also on the flyer, while that we have a minute, um, couple of things. I did make the um, decision when I started doing some more research on this uh, eclipse. We're not going out of town that day. I, I'm not getting on the roads. I, I mean, we drive to Brevard, we drive to Greenville, then what? So we get 99 point something percent here where we're good, okay? So what I recommend is, uh, what I thought we'd do is uh, meet here at 10 a.m. on the 21st. We'll go to the land, we'll build a fire, we'll have a picnic lunch, and we'll do ceremony on the fire, and then we'll walk over to the Flat Rock Park, or we can even carpool if people can't make the walk. And um, then uh, that'll be a nice day. I think it's around 2.30. It's gonna be easy, and we're not gonna, um, we're not gonna get into the big crowds, because that could be just who knows what. And also, uh, Lori France had pointed out to me that on this, uh, on the handout here, the upcoming Coptic Conference, which is going to be awesome, the 25th and 26th. The 25th is uh, days that, the day that we have all the different healing uh, modalities offered. Uh, that goes from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Blue Ridge Community College. And then Saturday, all day, presenters include James Twyman, um, uh, Rob Worgen, um, Victoria Johnson, John Davis, and a couple who I don't know, Barb and Bob Huddinga, but they are really cool people from what I can tell. And uh, we've got some great things planned, so mark your calendar, that's gonna be a great weekend. And uh, spread the word, it's a unique conference because it's done strictly on faith and a love offering. And you're getting world-class presenters a full day, and you can put a dollar or a thousand dollars in. And uh, I tend to lean up that way bigger, but if you can not, uh, now don't leave before the picture. No, 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 my program. Okay, so anyway, that's the update, and I'd like to have you all um, join me in. Uh, can I say something? Yes. Um, I'm having yoga this week, but not the Anastasia book, and I'll be gone for two weeks. So no yoga for two weeks or Anastasia book. I'm going to the ashram to learn yoga for arthritis. Oh. Anybody got that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I thank just you. missed it. Oh, sorry. thank you. <laughs> oh, I did. I missed it. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Yeah, That's right. Yes, ma'am. That's what the yoga is uh, for. For all, all of you things. who are looking for sage bundles, She's I will have right. some next Sunday. <gasps> okay. Okay. And also, and that's $5. It's a $10 value at least. Um, anyway, uh, but five dollars for our Namaste members, and also on the twenty-first for the eclipse at the fire. Reverend Charlotte was talking about. We are going to do some drumming. If anybody has rattles, please bring the rattles. Yeah. Because it's going to be a rattling day. Okay. <laughs> We're going to drum like a joyful noise and bring the rattles. All right. Yeah. Namaste. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Okay, stand up and we'll uh, have this, this is another favorite song here, and uh, City of God, that's what we are. Mm -hmm. 